Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing the circumstances surrounding the character of Cole and what his future in the Ninjago series might look like, especially if some new Ninjago comics from Ninjago Core are anything to go off of. In other words, is Cole still doomed to die within Ninjago's future? Let's talk about that. So for those that don't know, there has been a rumor in the Ninjago circle for the longest time that Cole will eventually die at some point in the Ninjago series. This has been a common theory for a lot of Ninjago fans for quite some time, ever since the days of Ninjago Possession back in 2015. And the scene in which this theory comes from is this scene right here, where the ninjas see their future reflections inside the tomb of the first Spinjitzu master. Famously, all of the ninjas see themselves in the far future except for Cole, who sees nothing. For a lot of people, this indicated that Cole very well will die in Ninjago's future. However, that's not the case for everybody. Some people cited it to be because he was a ghost, even though ghosts do cast reflections and they make note of that in the episode itself. But also in Ninjago, Skybound, Cole gained the ability to turn invisible. Therefore, some fans suggest that that's what the reflections were referring to, which to me never really made much sense because all of the other ninjas saw their reflections from the far future. Why would Cole see a reflection of himself only a few months in the future? That really doesn't make much sense to me. So I was always part of the opinion that maybe Cole will die at some point in Ninjago's future, and that's why he did not have a reflection. Ever since season five came out, those reflections, especially Cole's, have been referenced across several points in the Ninjago community. A lot of Ninjago showrunners claim the reflections no longer matter, while some Ninjago fans are still holding on tightly to them. But it's not like the reflections have never been significant past Season 5. As mentioned, Season 6 Skybound toyed with them a little bit, and Season 7 Hands of Time was originally going to end 40 years in the future, where the ninja would look like their reflection counterparts and Cole was nowhere to be found. Once again, sparking the debate as to whether or not Cole was destined to die, since he did not have a reflection, while the other ninja did. Flash forward several years, and the reflections still don't really matter all that much in the grand scheme of things. The showrunners have pretty much stopped mentioning them along with several of the fans, however a new Ninjago comic that was just released for Ninjago Core may have sparked this debate once again. In this comic right here, as shown on LEGO's official website and their official YouTube channel, the ninja can be seen in the far future where they're all old and working at the monastery still. However, Cole looks a lot like Master Wu, which causes a lot of people to suggest that it actually is Master Wu. I was under the impression that it was Cole because of the black outfit, but it does look strikingly similar to Master Wu. So unless Cole's destiny is to look like Wu in the far future, this very well could be Master Wu. I haven't seen anything official telling us who this character is for certain, so this could either be Cole or Wu depending on what you think. If it's Cole, that would make the most sense, that's personally what I think. But if it's Wu, then where's Cole? Is Cole still destined to die in this future timeline as presented by Ninjago Core? Now obviously the Ninjago Core comics are not considered canon nor are they hardly relevant to the actual Ninjago story itself, but if this mysterious character in black who looks like Master Master Wu is supposed to be Master Wu, where exactly is Cole and is Ninjago still holding on to that prospect of Cole dying in the far future? You could say that this character is Cole because surely Master Wu would be dead by now, right? I'm not so sure though because like Lloyd, Master Wu's bloodline is far from human and he's already thousands of years old. Who's to say he won't live for a thousand more years? However, like I said, this character being Cole makes the most sense to me and him looking like Master Wu can just be explained by Cole and Wu having a very close bond and a close relationship. But if if this is Master Wu, again, where is Cole? Is Lego still holding on to the idea that Cole will die in the future? Honestly, I'm not so sure. It all depends on who this character is. So with that being said, I turn things over to you guys down below in the comments. What do you think is going on here in this comic for Ninjago Core? First of all, who do you think this character is? Is he Cole or is he Wu? Leave all your predictions down below. And if it is Wu, Where's Cole? Leave all your thoughts down below in the comments. I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with regarding this theory. And like I said, there's a lot of mystery surrounding this comic and Cole's fate, but I'm sure you guys will make your thoughts known down below in the comment section. With that being said, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's video, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again really soon. Peace.